So yesterday we learned that doctors are starting to use things like emojis when delivering news to patients just to kind of, I guess, deepen the bond between uh, patient and doctor, uh, maybe uh, make it seem a little, I don't know. Less formal and scary. Less formal and scary. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, uh, let's don't don't forget to get scheduled for your surgery. Knife emoji. Sure. Yes. <laughs> or, hey, we'll see you tomorrow for your colonoscopy. Start your prep today. Poop emoji. Yeah. Heart eyes. Yeah. Something N- like that. Need to schedule that uh, um, prostate exam. That prostate exam. Finger poke. Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I need to check you out for testicular cancer. Uh Uh-huh. Eggplant. Oh, okay. (laughs) Or cherries. (laughs) (laughs) So there apparently now are some that are using AI, artificial intelligence, like things like chat GPT or whatever, to help them break bad news. Because breaking bad news is kind of tough, obviously. So we thought, you know, well, why not try it ourselves and see what we can come up with, right? In a limerick style, okay? Okay. In a limerick, I'll tell you the news. Though it might leave you feeling confused. Now don't get indignant, but your tumor's malignant. Oh, stop it right now. Stop, stop, stop. Good reason to break out the booze. (gasps) I don't think they're going to incorporate this. I really don't. I don't know if AI is on. No, I don't think AI has got the right feel for this kind of news. All right, well, let's try a different way. Let's try it. Hang on a second. All All right. Let me try breaking bad news uh, greeting card style. Maybe this would be better. Okay, right. okay. <clears throat> so, in this card, we send you a heartfelt embrace, encouragement, and hope filling up this space. Erectile dysfunction may oh test God! your will. <laughs> But it's sometimes cured with a little blue pill. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm, I'm not on board with this new style I of mean, communication. That, I don't know, think. Honestly, if a doctor rolls in and he's like, Ben, sit down. No. I think and, and rolls that out. No, I'm like, I don't think they I understand. read a speech like that. No. Or he I gave think, me a little greeting card that had yeah, that in there. I don't think they just give you a greeting card. All right, all right, myself. all right, all right. Maybe, I, I maybe, don't think hang that's on, better. hang on, maybe. <laughs> I don't think that's better. Maybe let's try it in a knock knock joke, all right? Okay. Breaking, okay. Uh, again, doctors. Bad news with a knock knock joke? Yeah, some doctors are trying to use AI to help them break bad news. A better bedside manner. <laughs> right, exactly. So let me, okay. let me just see if a knock knock joke hits different, okay? Knock, knock. Who's there? (laughs) Your brother. Your brother who? Your brother. Our son's real dad. Oh, 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 God! (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that could work. I don't think so. That's... Oh, that took kind of a Maury Povich twist. <laughs> that is kind of a Maury Povich I twist. So I, I, don't, I don't know if I that'll work or not. I think this is a good avenue to you go know, down. I mean, look, AI can help no, with, I don't think with it can. several things. However, this it's may not, not one be one of them. Nope. I don't know. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I think we keep let's, doing what we've been doing there. Let, let's go back to the emojis of an eggplant going, hey. We need you to come in and schedule for your physical. That might be fun. But I think breaking bad news, we keep doing what we were doing before. I think it's a little bit more delicate. Uh, okay. All right. It's 99.70. DJX. Wow.